afternoon in one of my friend Cynthia's shops in Accra. Accra, Mokala Market. I'm so happy because this is Dan Lamb. As you know, I'm Ga. So we're in my area. Ah, I'm here with the lovely Vero who's going to join us and we're going to talk about cloth. Ghanaian cloth and fake cloth. Can you believe it? There's fake cloth on the market. Believe it. We're going to show you now how to find out. So for instance, we have the traditional kente prints. It's not the original woven kente. Woven kente, another topic, we'll come to that one. But woven kente is hand woven using different types of threads and colors, and they come in strips. See these panels, they come in strips. But this is the print, so it's like a photograph of the kente. But although I'm saying it's a photograph, I'm not saying it is fake. This is real Ghana cloth. And the reason I know this is real Ghana cloth is because it's made by ATL, baby. ATL are a true manufacturer of Ghana cloth. There's only a few in Ghana. And the ones we have is Blisco, one of the number ones. They're like our couture of, of Ghana cloth. You've got Wadeen, which is the sister company as well. They, they go hand in hand. We've also got another big, big um, sister to the company. Not even to the company, another big company is um, GTP. Happy birthday, GTP. It's their birthday this year, 50 years. Woo! So yeah, GTP, they're also another fantastic brand for Ghana Cloth. And who's the other brand as well? So we've got Blisco, Wadeen, GTP, and there's one more. Here we go, GTP Super, so Adepa. So for instance, but you may wonder, what's GTP Super? GTP Super may be like, you have CK for Calvin Klein. CK is a diffusion um, line for Calvin Klein, the top brand. So GTP, Adepa, is the Calvin Klein for GTP. So, that's the names. They're the, they're the number one names. Let me recap for you. We have Blisco, we have Wadeen, we have ATL, we have GTP, and we have GTP Adepa. And then last but not least, we have this brand that, she's gonna mention it, you have to say it louder because I can't say that. It's Shruma. In Shruma, see these, these Ghan names, they're a, a bit of a tongue tie if, you if you're not used to it. But it's, Inshruma. So you say the N, but you don't really say the N. You let your tongue roll. Inshruma. So if you say Inshruma, people know what you're talking about. So they're the six brands, but again, it's owned by GTP. So GTP, in their 50 years, have done some fantastic work. They've got three different um, sub diffusion brands. So they've got Edipa, they've got Inshruma, and they've also got the GTP main range. So those are the Ghanaian true cloth brands. So. Where did the fake come into it, you ask me? But there's plenty, plenty, plenty fake on the market. And the reason there are so many fake is because as much as these brands are all beautiful, like GTP, Blisco, Wadeen, the prices could not be so beautiful at the pocket. So for instance, Ma, tell us how much does six yards of ATL go for? The CR 75. So 75 Ghana cities for ATL. By the way, the prices we're quoting is based on today's exchange rate. So, 75 Ghana cities for six yards of ATL. And then we also have G GTP New Star. Ma, Enye. Enye is how much? 75. So this is 75 as well. New Star is 75. Again for six yards. And then this one. High target is 40. So six yards for high target is 40. So you can see the difference in price already. Now you will notice that I didn't mention high target as one of the Ghana brands because this is one of the China brands. So we'll come on to that in a bit. Ma, the Instagram brand, how much is this six yards? This is 70. So this is 70. So between GTP, they've got the three brands, in the three brands, in today's current exchange rate, six yards, is either between 70 and 75. When you go to Woodin, Woodin and Blisco, you're looking more for the six yards. Yeah, maybe the three figures. Three figures, but that's all I'm gonna say because I don't have them right here, right now to quote, to give me exact prices. So I'm not gonna give you the exact details, but the fantastic thing about Woodin and Blisco is they're so up to date that they have a website, they have a communication line that you can contact them to know anything else. But the most important thing you need to know is how to identify your true Ghanaian cloth. 
go moving on to our fake Sorry, China Cloths, I keep on calling it fakes, but I have to. The reason I say that is because something like this fab this fabrication here, Mark, what is this one called again? What is this brand called? It's just a China brand. Now you can see it's got some authentication on it in terms of barcodes, stickers, etc. So mo most people will say, oh, but Sakuna, you know, they've got all these different, um, my voice is changing, isn't it? Anyway, you may say, oh, they've got all these different stickers just like the, um, the real ones. So they must be real. No, they're not. Now, one of the key ways to find out if the cloth you're buying is an original made in Ghana cloth or a fake cloth is by one major factor, is by the touch quality. Now, the touch quality can tell you a lot. If you touch the, the, the touch of the, of the fabric, if it is a Chinese uh, cloth, it will give it away straight away because it has a more silky, smooth texture upon touching it. So when you touch it, it's very smooth. Whereas something like this GTP, it's a little rougher on the texture. Now I say rough, but I don't mean rough and it's coarse and it's horrible. I don't mean that, it's very nice, but it's got a different dense quality on it. So it's more thicker, it's more heavier. So when you hold the fabric, it won't be all flimsy and soft. It will be quite stiff until you wash it. And when you wash it, then it starts to become softer. So also, brands, Ghanaian cloth brands, the way to eat, also find out whether they are genuine or they are really authentic Ghanaian cloths. Brands like GTP, they've invested a lot of money into the brand in terms of cloth, of knowing if this, this cloth is real or not real. One way you can find out is, for instance, not on this one, I'll show you on a few others, but they have quite a few stickers. Now you can say, Sakina, the Chinese have stickers, the GTP has stickers, where am I gonna find the real answer? Well, the real answer I will show you is right here. So, we're gonna take another one of the GTP for you. Fabulous. And you can see on here, this is a very weighty cloth, this is very, very heavy, wow. You can see diff straight away that they also have these stickers that, these are the original stickers that they used to place on the GT um, cloth. Now they've also introduced a barcode, but not just a standard barcode, you've also got a scratch barcode. Now if this barcode is not on your cloth, there's a possibility that the person selling the cloth to you has possibly cut the cloth and that part has been sold on because a lot of different um, shops in Accra, they sell their cloth by yardage. So there's a possible reason. But if they haven't and they're selling you the full six or 12 yards, there should always be a barcode sticker on there and a barcode scratch sticker. If the barcode scratch sticker is not there, my friends, someone has done something so I would be buying with huge caution, especially if you want to buy something with Garnet Original made in Ghana cloth. So we'll zoom in just to show you what that looks like. So you've got something like this little stick here. It's quite small, but it says quite a lot and it's something that you need to capture. GTP have also got large billboard posters around in Accra and around Ghana to highlight this as well, to show you. So knowledge is powerful. If you don't know, just investigate. But it's all harmless at the end of the day. You can find out for yourself or not find out for yourself. You shop according to your size of your pocket, it's totally up to you. So that is some of the basic information of how to find out where you're, if you're buying into Ghana made cloth or you're buying a, uh, a fake cloth. <laughs>